Hello and welcome to another training session of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, brought to you by Letter Tape. We're going to be discussing the options.txt file, a file that opens the ability to create new and wonderful worlds like you see here. Okay, so maybe not so much like I can do with graphics and such, uh, but it does open up quite a bit of possibilities for doing things in the game or with the game that you just haven't been able to do before because of uh, realistic limitations. You can bypass some of those limitations. So let's get right into it. So here we are in game or in the loading area of the game and this options area that you hopefully are somewhat familiar with there are lots of different things that you can change. Uh, like for instance background music, uh, menu music, graphic settings. Now let's uh, go ahead and look and see where this information is saved. Alright, so here we are uh, where the options txt file itself is saved and the default look of the options txt file, if you open it in notepad, looks like this. Just a few basic settings. Now my options txt looks a little bit different but that's just because I've changed the resolution and I've changed the full screen setting. So this is where all of those different settings that you can change get saved to. So every time the program starts it references this file and loads. So let's go back to the options screen now. So just to further illustrate this a little bit I'm going to turn off cycle menu music. I'm going to set no music. I'm just going to change that volume down. I'll turn off live content. Well here I'll just change the level of detail for all of this. Uh, enable reflective water and refraction and water droplet and transition and blend. Alright, so there's a bunch of stuff that's been changed. So now let's go back to the options txt file and see what we have. Um, just by the way, I need to close completely out of this program in order to make those changes apply. So here we are back again looking at the options txt file compared to the default settings and you can see there are quite a bit more changes to this options txt file now. All these level of detail settings the water droplets, uh, etc. So this file just keeps getting bigger the more changes we make at the options location in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 from whatever is default. So what I'd like to do now is I'd like to talk about where this options txt file is located. So right now I'm in C, Documents and Settings, Administrator, Application Data, Atari, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 and I see my options txt file. This one is just a copy that I made of the default for illustration purposes. However, the default in Windows, I'm using Windows XP, I believe it's the same in Vista, is that this is as far as you get. C, if you installed in C, Documents and Settings, and then I'm with an administrator. Depending on what you installed the game with uh, for account or what you're logged in as. But anyway, this is as far as you get. There's no application data. Application data is a hidden system folder. There are certain folders and files in Windows that are hidden from your view in order to protect them so that you don't accidentally delete them or move them and possibly uh, mess things up. But in our case we want to see it. What we need to do is we need to make a change in the settings for Windows to allow us to view these hidden system folders. And right now I'm in my computer. You could also do this in Explorer. Not Internet Explorer, but Windows Explorer. Tools, Folder Options, View. Now you're going to have an option under Advanced Settings, Hidden Files and Folders. You're going to click on the little radio dialog for Show Hidden Files and Folders and OK and now you've got all these hidden system folders and files. Everything that's kinda grayed out is what used to be hidden. So then if you go into application data, Atari, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, that's where you'll get to this options txt file. Now once you're done working with the options txt file I recommend you going back into tools folder options view and setting this back to do not show hidden files and folders. You can always go back and change this to show. 
But this way you're just protecting yourself from doing any accidental harm. All right, so back to the options txt file. We've got all these new entries into this file that uh, weren't there before. To see just an example of what other types of entries could be in here, if you go to the Atari community site, and Agamemnus posted uh, a bunch of entries that were discovered that are of some use or another in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Here's more that came from the expansion pack. Uh, so a lot of these here you're not really going to use uh, either because you don't know how or you just don't really need to or they're already referenced in the options that are available to be changed in the game. But some that are of importance are like these two here and actually right here are three main ones that uh, people use. To add one of these, what you do if you happen to be at this site, you can just highlight, copy it, is back at the options txt file. Uh, make sure you have it open with notepad, not any other word processing program like Microsoft Word or anything, because it has uh, formatting codes in it that will mess this up. And then go ahead and either type or paste the command in, if you actually have the command. And then here I have a one. This is one of those commands where it needs a, a zero or a one. Zero meaning do not allow this to occur. One, allow it to occur. Then the other thing that you're going to need is this little square symbol, which I'm going to copy, which is control C. I'm going to paste it with control V. And you need that before and after each of these commands. Uh, it's fine here. And those just separate out so that the program knows that that this specifically is one. This is specifically one command. So that's all you do. And then when you're done, you just simply save the file, close it, and launch Roller Coaster Kaikun 3. And that particular option will be applied. I'll have another tutorial later on actually how to utilize some of these new entries. Real quickly, I wanted to bring your attention to another option you have. There's the Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Options Editor, which is a front end that was developed by a fan for um, being able to make these changes without having to actually go into the text file yourself. So the website is up here, and I'm just kind of directing you to the site and where you can download the file. There's a user guide that will give you all the information you need to know, and there's even a tutorial that you can click through that will walk you through step by step. This is what the options editor looks like. Now the reason I didn't give a tutorial on this is because it didn't actually work for me. It did in the past, but I have a 64-bit operating system and maybe that's why it wasn't working for me. So I just found it easier to go back to the manual way of making the changes. But this is a, a good site. It's a good utility, and I recommend you give it at least a chance and see if it works. If not, you know another way to do it. One last thing. Let's say you run Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 and something doesn't work right. The game crashes, won't run, whatever. If the only thing you changed is this options.txt file, then just do this. Hit delete on your keyboard delete the file. Next time you run Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, it'll recreate a new options txt file and it'll just have this stuff in it. And then you can just start over fresh. So there is a way to back out, but once again, I do want to tell you, you'd make these changes at your own risk. Thanks and enjoy!